A large ceramic tile mural with a portrait of Cheyenne Chief Wolfrobe hangs above the sidewalk on the historic Idenhaw Hotel in Boise, Idaho. A luxury hotel in its day, the Idenhaw was built in Boise in 1900 along the old Oregon Trail. The mural depicts ephemera from the hotel's beginnings, including the portrait, which was part of the original logo mounted on the hotel's roof. The mural plaque explains the hotel's unique name. It says, unsubstantiated legend has it that Idenhaw is an unidentified American Indian tribe's phrase meaning the spirit of the healing waters, in reference to the nearby warm springs. The mural itself, created in 2002 by Idaho artist Carrie Mooseman, is called The Spirit of the Healing Waters. The mural is celebrated in the popular press for representing the important history of Boise. And yet, the mural also perpetuates layers upon layers of forgetting. That a Cheyenne chief could come to stand in for the Shoshone and Paiute people who lived in the Boise Valley prior to their removal, that the name of the hotel could be romantically borrowed from an unidentified native tribal language, and that a white artist could frame all of this represents forgetting. Furthermore, when viewed in the broader context, a historical mural, if you will, of unratified treaties, internment camps, indentured servitude, and ultimately forced removal at the hands of the U.S. military, the forgetting of the actual Boise Valley people in Boise public art, like this mural, becomes something more politically charged, erasure. In my research, I trace the outlines of the erasure of the Boise Valley people from Boise's landscape and investigate its results. As an anthropologist, I am interested in how this erasure informs Boise's contemporary culture, particularly as it manifests in expressive form that is, in contemporary folklore, in visual arts, public artworks, musical culture, festivals, museums, and dance. My research also aims to use indigenous methodologies and an ally stance to partner with contemporary descendants of the Boise Valley people in projects that allow them to reassert representational sovereignty over the Boise Valley landscape. Funded by a generous grant from the OU Humanities Forum, I was given the opportunity to bring one of these projects to life. I organized an artist exchange, a public roundtable, and set of exhibitions featuring contemporary Native artists from both Idaho and Oklahoma. The artists included Derek No Son Brown and Kira Murillo, both Shoshone Bannock from Fort Hall, Idaho, as well as Jay Nicole Hatfield, who was Comanche, and Roy Boney Jr., who is Cherokee from Oklahoma. This artist exchange achieved several major goals. First, it allowed participating artists to network and exchange ideas and resources amongst themselves. Native artists in Oklahoma have been rather successful in giving voice to the Native presence here, and I wanted the Idaho artists to have the opportunity to draw inspiration from these projects, such as the Chickasaw Cultural Center, which we visited. Second, the exchange allowed Native artists to reflect on the concept of representational sovereignty and what this kind of sovereignty means to them. Finally, the exchange allowed us to feature and really celebrate the work of some very talented young Native artists in two related exhibits, Presence, which was shown at the Jacobson House Native Art Center, and the temporary exhibit, Exchange, at the Sam Noble Museum. Scholars have noted that one of the hallmarks of settler colonialism is the way in which it attempts to erase the presence of previous inhabitants. My research documents how this erasure plays out in the artistic realm, and I have found that Southern Idaho is a really good example of this aesthetic of forgetting. But that is starting to change, and a new generation of Native artists, activists, and non-Native allies are helping to change the representational landscape of Southern Idaho. By using my resources as a scholar to highlight the creativity and amplify the voices of artists descended from the original people of the Boise Valley, my work helps to create conditions whereby sovereignty can be expressed. Mm -hmm.